good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering graphics under engineering graphics we are going to discuss a topic on conic sections under conic sections we will discuss construction of parabola by special methods this is the 12th solved problem we are discussing under conic sections now we will enter into the problem the problem which we are going to discuss now is very very important and it was asked many times under different university examinations the given problem is a shot is discharged from the ground at an inclination of 55 degrees to the ground which is horizontal the shot returns to the ground at a point 120 meters away from the point of discharge draw the path traced by the shot now we will extract the data from the problem based upon the earlier information we know that the path travel of the shot is going to be a parabolic curve here the name of the curve to be drawn is parabolic curve base length of the parabolic curve is 120 meters axis height is not given we need to find the axis height how to find the axis height that we will see now here ab is the base length of the parabola then here instead of giving the axis height they had given the inclination of the shot with the horizontal here inclination of the shot with the horizontal is 55 degrees so at a as well as b draw two inclined lines those inclined lines are going to make inclination with ab as 55 degrees here distance between a and b is 120 meters then at a as well as b draw two inclined lines these two inclined lines are making with an inclination of 55 degrees to the ground these two lines are meeting at a point o then draw perpendicular bisector to ab passing through o then name this point as c co becomes the two times the axis height if you bisect co then name that point as d then cd becomes the axis height in order to construct the path travel of the curve say parabolic curve we need to use tangent method here the name of the method used for drawing the parabolic curve is tangent method here the presentation of this video is divided into two parts part a brief overview of the solution part b detailed construction of the path travel of the shot from the point of discharge on the ground to the point reaching the ground now we will enter into the brief overview of the solution now we will see the brief overview of the solution here a shot is discharged from the ground say at a point a and again it reaches to the ground at a point b in between the shot covers the horizontal distance on the ground is 120 meters here the path travel of the shot is a parabolic curve here ab is the base length of the parabola and cd is the axis height of the parabola generally for construction of the parabola they used to supply the information like base length of the parabola as well as axis height of the parabola if base length as well as axis height of the parabola is given in the problem then we can use rectangle method as well as tangent method in the present problem base length is given instead of giving the axis height they supplied the information like inclination of the shot with the horizontal here the inclination of the shot with horizontal is 55 degrees so we need to use the tangent method for construction of the parabola related to the present problem for that draw base line with the given length after that 
yet A as well as B draw 55 degrees inclination lines. Yet O draw perpendicular bisector to AB and name this point as C. Here OC is the 2 times the axis height. Then locate the midpoint of OC say D. Then CD is the axis height of the parabola. With reference to the isosceles triangle say OAB we need to construct the parabola by using tangent method. In the given problem, the measurements are given in terms of meters. But in actual drawing, we are going to use the measurements in terms of millimeters. In the present problem, we are considering 1 meter as 1 millimeter. That is, scale is 1 is to 1000. Just now we discussed brief overview of the solution. Based on this brief overview of the solution, now we will enter into the part B that is detailed construction of the path travel of the shot from the point of discharge on the ground to the point of reaching the ground. Here the path travel of the shot is a parabolic curve. In order to construct the path travel of the shot that is a parabolic curve, we are going to use tangent method. Now we will enter into the detailed construction of the parabolic curve. Here a shot is discharged from the ground at a point A and again it reaches to the ground at a point B. The shot travels from the point A on the ground with an inclination of 55 degrees to the ground and again it reaches to the ground at a point B. As we know that the path travel of the shot is a parabolic curve. Here, the shot covers the horizontal distance from point A to B along the ground is 120 meters. The distance between point A as well as point B on the ground is 120 meters. For drawing purpose, we are considering 1 meter as 1 millimeter. For drawing purpose, we are considering 1 meter as 1 millimeter. So, the distance on the drawing sheet from point A to B is 120 millimeters. Then, draw a line join the points A to B, which becomes the base of the parabola. Generally, for construction of the parabola, they used to supply the information like base length of the parabola as well as axis height of the parabola. Instead of giving the axis height, they supplied other information in the problem. What is that? Here, the inclination of the shot with the horizontal is given in the problem. Here, the inclination of the shot with the horizontal is 55 degrees. So, at A as well as B, with an angle of 55 degrees to the ground, draw two inclined lines. Here, these two inclined lines are meeting at a point say O. Now, OAB is the isosceles triangle. Within this isosceles triangle, we need to draw the parabolic curve. For that, we are going to use tangent method. Then, draw a perpendicular bisector to AB passing through the point O. Name this point as C. Here, OC is the 2 times the axis height of parabola. We are going to draw the parabolic curve within this isosceles triangle say OAB by using tangent method. For that, divide OA inclined line into even number of equal parts, say 6 or 8 parts. 
here we are going to divide OA inclined line into 6 equal parts. Similarly, we need to divide OB inclined line also into 6 equal parts. If OA line is divided into 6 equal parts directly with scale, we can divide directly. Otherwise, we can use dividing a line into equal parts concept by drawing acute angle line method. For that, at A, draw acute angle line, then some radius at A on the acute angle line, draw an arc, then number this point as 1 with the same radius with compass, draw an arc on the acute angle line, number this point as 2 with the same radius, draw another arc, number this point as 3, with the same radius at 3 as a center, draw an arc, number this point as 4, 4 as a center with the same radius, draw an arc, name this point as 5, with 5 as a center, with the same radius, draw an arc, then name this point as 6, that is we are going to divide OA line into 6 equal parts, for that we divided this acute angle line into 6 equal parts. After that, lose this rafters knob, then align point 6 on the acute angle line as well as O point here onto this drafter scale. Then tight this knob, join 6 as well as O here till now all lines are drawn with 3H pencil. That means all these lines are light lines. Then parallel to 6O passing through 5 dry line. That is we are drawing lines parallel to O6 passing through 5, 4, 3, 2 as well as 1 and these parallel lines are going to intersect the OA lines at say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then divide OB line also into 6 equal parts. For that, we are going to use either acute angle line method or keep the drafter parallel to baseline AB. Then move the drafter so that it is going to touch the point say at 1. And again, here this point is going to be 5. Here the numbers are going in a ascending order from down to top. Whereas here the numbers are going to come ascending order from top to down. Similarly, move the drafter at 2 and name this point as 4. Move the drafter at 3 and name the point on OB as 3. Here, move the drafter and name this point as 2. Move the drafter and name this point as 1. That is, the division numbers are in an ascending order from down to the top on OA, whereas ascending order from top to the down on OB inclined lines. The method which we are using for drawing the parabola is tangent method. So join one point on OA line to the one point on OB line. then. Join 2 point on OA line to the 2 point on OB line, 3 point on OA line to the 3 point on OB line, 4 point on OA line to the 4 point on OB line, 5 point on OA line to the 5 point on OB line with 3H pencil.
here this point is D. CD is the axis height of the parabola. Then with reference to the tangent say 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, we are going to draw the parabola as a starting point as A and ending point as B. Make a note, the curve should not move outside the tangents. The curve need to come inside the tangents. For 1-1 one, one tangent, for this particular portion midpoint is this one. For 2-2 two, two tangent, for this particular portion midpoint is this one. For 3-3 three, three tangent, this particular portion midpoint is this one. For 4-4 four, four tangent, this particular portion midpoint is this one. For 5-5 five, five tangent, this particular portion midpoint is this one. Here we are going to name this point as P1 and this point as P2 and this point as P3, this point as P4 and this point as P5. Then starting point as A and passing through P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and ending point as B, draw smooth curve. The smooth curve is the parabola. Now we are going to dot this curve with H pencil. Here, a shot is discharged from the ground with an inclination of 55 degrees to the ground and it covers a horizontal distance of 120 meters. The horizontal distance covered by the shot along the ground is 120 meters. Here AB is the base of the parabola, CD is the axis height of the parabola. In the present problem, axis height is not given. Instead of that, inclination of the shot with the ground is given. Here we are considering scale as 1 is 2000. That is, we are considering 1 meter as 1 millimeter on the drawing sheet. So, the scale becomes 1 is 2000. The method used for construction of this parabolic shape is tangent method. Related to the pencil uses, all construction lines are with 3H pencil. That means those lines are lighter lines and dimensioning is with 2H pencil. Whereas, this parabolic shape curve is with H pencil. The solved problem is very very important and it was asked many times under university examinations. In order to get firm clarity on the solution related to this particular problem, you need to practice from beginning to the ending of the solution perfectly. If you have any queries or doubts related to the present solved problem, you can mention it under comment section of this video. I am happy to answer it as quickly as possible. For more videos on engineering graphics, visit the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning on knowledge sharing. Stay blessed. Thank you.